All right, ready? All right, say go. I got almost got everything off. I'm speaking into the microphone. And I will enunciate. Bumblebee, bumblebee, bumblebee. You guys, did you hear that? That, uh, uh, what's it called? Reaper? No, not Reaper. What is it when you, like, that run that you just did? No. No, it's a joke. The, the, oh, you don't have the thing then. It just messed up a little, so it sounded funny. <laughs> like a washboard. I guess you are his new BFF. It's like a washboard. It's not a washboard. Warsh. 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 Gotta do the warsh. Warsh. Okay, I don't know what so that looks like. We can is. share it. Oh, okay. Lemus or Lemus? Oh, don't say Lemus. Lemus? What time is Lemus. it? It's Lemus time. Lemus. Welcome to the Lemus. Nooner Show with J Dubs and Lemus. Oh, no, wait. No, you do a watch party. Right. Right. We're Lemus. broadcasting live from the podcast in Troy Studios in Rock in Royal Oak, Michigan. Be sure to find us at podcastdetroit.com. Right. So we hit share. Like, you go to our page. Share. Okay, okay, somebody bring me a mirror. Party. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to watch party. You're starting it? No, you start it. It's start- the Nooner Show in Watch Party. I, my, I don't know why mine's not doing it. Happy Hump Day. Whoa, whoa. Um, I'm day. Technical difficulties. I'm honest. Yeah, we did have some tec- technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> Lots and of in English, that would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The translators we were of that. The teacher's here today. It was messed uh, up. I know. I'm teacher here. is in session. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, we need to take attendance now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was tardy. Does Alejandro that you is were. watching. I was tardy. Does that, like, when I was in high school, the they had lockouts. So, like, if you, like, they at the bell, they would close the right, door. And right. then you would We be, would, but we've got a list of things for you to do. So, oh. we're not locking <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. That's true. All That's right. True. So, what's up, kids? Oh, you know. No, uh-huh. we're here. Yeah. We're here. We're, we're here. here. We're here. Hi. So, yeah. it's cold Hi. out. We, Alejandro. I'm going to practice. I've always wanted to do this. I'm going to practice my, <laughs> <laughs> what I've been practicing at home. <laughs> You're listening to Pillow Talk. <laughs> smooth Jazz V98.7 <laughs> Where we smooth everything up for you. Do you practice it at <laughs> home? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did I say? <laughs> See, this is not right, going to go right anywhere. So okay. in other news, <laughs> right? In other news, in other news uh, Alejandro, you're going to get your turn in a few minutes here. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you can participate in this because I saw something on the internet, so uh-huh. it must be the true. Worldwide yes. web. Oh boy, it I is know. true. It, it must be true. Yeah. It, it true. must be true. If I saw it there, so I saw these two women, and they were doing a little Facebook live of a um, telemarketer who had called them. They were in the beauty salon, and they picked it up and they decided that they would have a little fun with the with the caller and they said you know you called during our prayer group so we'd like to pray with you <laughs> <laughs> they went way into the prayer <laughs> praying pray praying <laughs> i'll get it out i like pray- i like praying like, better it's a, it seems I like a sounds more thing. intense i know yeah. talk praying about english sounds more intense. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. like you can you can pray but you can pray or you can pray or yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway i speak english um so they they went way into it. So I thought it was funny. I shared it on Facebook, and then my phone rang. So I decided uh, I would give no. It was, it was like it was like on cue. Her no, phone are you serious? Yeah. My oh phone, my yeah, gosh. my phone rang. So I pushed one, like they instructed, and I said, mm-hmm. they said, "Hi, do you want to talk about whatever? I don't know your college loan or you know your car warranty." And I said, uh, "No, you called during my prayer group, so I'd like to pray with you." <laughs> and the guy said, "Um, click." <laughs> So that was the first Rude. time That's I know. Good. Oh I know. my god! That was the first time I did it. So oh I've done goodness. this uh, several times for the past. Oh week and my gosh! Half. So a few people have said, um, "No, thank you," and hung up. They've been nice, but the guy I had yesterday. <laughs> so this is daily. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. I've been Where's doing your it phone too. number posted? <laughs> in the bathroom. Well, you know, yeah, exactly. I've Wherever been doing you it too. It. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah, in the yeah. bathroom. But the yeah. guy yesterday, he said, "I said, you know, you've called, and he was in a call center because you could hear all the background noise." <laughs> and he said, I said, you know, you've called during my prayer group and you've really interrupted me. And so I think that you need to pray with me. And he's like, oh, OK, go ahead. So, you know, I went to eight years of Catholic school. I started with the Our Father. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
himself. Did he pray with you? Well, no, and it got, was really loud in the background, so I stopped because I really didn't want to play this game that much. Mm-hmm. So I <laughs> he stopped. called your bluff, man. Yeah. Oh no, because I was saying our Father who aren't in heaven. I was <laughs> saying the prayer anyway. I said to him, "You, you're not participating. This isn't working. If you're oh. not going to participate." <laughs> 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 oh my! See, oh and I've my been gosh. doing it, and I haven't That's had awesome. anybody that said, "Okay, go ahead." They usually hang up. But yeah. it's For so the most part, funny, It though. is funny. <laughs> so yeah. how long did he stay in? Well, no, it didn't stay long because I said, you weren't participating, and if you're not going to participate, I'm not going to pray with you. So put me on your do not call list, and wow. we are done. And he said, oh, you've just lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Oh, my. <laughs> she had a whole conversation. Oh, oh my God. God. So then I hung up. Funny. I was done talking to him. That's the fun so was funny. over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is really I do get those so calls every it. day and I just don't, I can't answer them. No. I'm always afraid I owe somebody money, so I'm like, eh. yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what? Same. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it, this has been kind of fun. It I mean, has it's been, been fun. like a study. You I know, feel like, like it would be fun if I didn't owe so many people money. Yeah. Not, all of us, not all of us. I'd be fine, but I'm like, like shit, you. what account well, did I forget yeah. about? <laughs> so I, am all you know what I, mean? I can't funny. play that phone answer roulette like you. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I'm going to come up with other storylines, so I'll report back. <laughs> yeah, that's really Isn't that funny. Good? That is good. That's hilarious. I love it. No, I do get too many of those calls, though, a day. I'm like, but I I put them off. Yeah. One time, well, you know, okay, so I do these, uh, um, I, I enter every radio contest ever. Oh, So, gosh. you know, I love these. I love yes. them. So, you know, I'm a big mojo in the morning listener. Shouts God. out. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I listen every morning, and they've got all these contests. You know, so right now I'm trying to win the $1,000 a day. So I've been entering in. They, like, pick up if it's a, yeah, if it's a call you don't thing. know. But I'm, like, scared now because it's, like. I don't answer the phone if I don't know the number because it is somebody that I owe money. Like, I already know. You owe them the thousand. I do. And right. it's like, that is exactly what it is. So I'm afraid. So I was like, I submitted it. And then a call came in that was a number that had not, like, I, I know which callers are which at this point. Like, I know which bank <laughs> yeah. it is that's calling me. Is that me. why you never answered my calls? Yeah, well, that's exactly <laughs> right. My number's black. Yeah, so it's. So, so many know, revelations happening right now. Yeah, so it's like, okay, I know this person. I owe this person money, so I'm not going to answer that one. I know this is this bank. I'm not going to answer them. But then a, a new number called so and I was like, you're like this is it you yeah. know and it wasn't I had what? forgotten well, a bill well, they were like you it's, owe look, us it's gonna you be me your minimum Hail payment. Mary full of yeah. prayers <laughs> well, look, look. except I, I would appreciate that I'd be like yes Rocky. I'm yeah, gonna Mary. pray away yeah. 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 stop the debt but collectors Rocky, yeah. I, I actually entered for the thousand dollars also Did but you? You know, you send a you send a text, right? Yeah. And they you, they text me back and they said, if you get a number that starts with a five one five. Oh, they didn't. Oh. They told me what to look for. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. So that's they a smart didn't tell way. Me. Like yeah. They, they said in a that. couple of days. So this is the the last day. So I yeah. <laughs> so they're giving no. you criteria to work yeah. with, so yeah. that it can alleviate your anxiety. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like. <laughs> What is yeah. it? Is it? It's a thousand dollars. Yeah, they're giving a thousand dollars a day. A day. A day? Yeah. It's iHeartRadio. I so oh, it's okay. Well, see, the station mm-hmm. I listen to, they're doing it every. I think it's like a thousand every four hours or something. Oh, like that. Wow. okay. What so. station is that? I'm gonna have to say. <laughs> yeah, can you just text me the number to text yeah. it. You know, right. Right. do people actually but. win this stuff? Yes. Yeah, never heard listen. About okay, yeah. Yeah. let me tell you. Any people winners of anything <laughs> about my horror story? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So over the summer, okay, they were doing cars, cash, and gas. I'm going in the morning, okay? And I'm not... Sh- I, this is the only reason why I woke up early, okay? Because it, they had their first call like at like 6.10, and then the second one... Or it was like 6.30 and 8.30 were like the two times that they were... that You could qual- you could call to qualify to enter. I woke up every morning the summer to qu- try and qualify, and I never got through one time. Every day, twice a day, I was trying to call in the morning. I did the afternoons. I did... I tried every time mm-hmm. so did you work at all no i was like i was like from these times to these that times was her i'm, job. Not, I'm unavailable to work okay nice. it was yeah. listen it was a brand new car five thousand okay. dollars in cash and five thousand dollars in gas that's worth all right the 10 minutes out of my cover my shift yeah that's yeah 100 right <laughs> mm-hmm. so i try to call every single day and so i'm in the car and i'm calling because i you know it's like i'm out of the gym so i'm calling i'm calling and i got through Okay, Ooh. and I I was the ninety fifth caller. Okay, <gasps> when was and this? I am freaking out. This is over the yeah. summer. I'm like, okay. they're like they answered like you're the ninety fifth caller. And I'm like, Woo! you know, yeah. and this is just to enter into the contest. So it's not even like I didn't say anything. I just w- got entered into the contest. So I'm like, like, did you have to be ninety five? Yeah, you had to be the ninety fifth caller. So I call every day. I'm like, I have their, I have their speed dial. So, they're the only ones. So in my you favorite. won an entry, so not listen. a prize. Okay, listen. I'm just impatient. Get okay, to the, get Step to the fruit. Get to the fruit. Because I. 
have a terrible cell phone service, they say <gasps> you're the 95th caller and it. my call I knew dropped. It dropped. I was going to say yes. that. I was going to say that. And I'm not kidding you. Dropped. It was like one of those movies where like it zooms out to outer <laughs> yeah. space. And I was like, <gasps> no! no! Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly right. I'm so Storming upset. Storming like, on you. I'm not oh, even mad. Man. I'm just like devastated. Oh. That's because you live in the middle of nowhere. I know. And this is, and I told my mom, I call her Move into the city, honey. I couldn't, I couldn't get back through move out of hashtag Michigan. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag Michigan. And listen, move out of I was like, Michigan. I call my mom and I'm like, I'm so upset because I'm like, I'm done with this company. Blah, blah, blah. I'm <laughs> over it. This is bullshit. First of all, I never get text messages and I never get phone calls, but this is what the straw that broke the camera's back, okay? <laughs> I get calls or text messages. Frankie texts me. He's like, uh, remember the good old days when you used to, I used to call you, you used to respond or call me back. And I was like, I have not gotten a wow. call from you. But this was the one that really. So now oh I know when I'm God. texting yes. Rocky and I'm, I'm, yep. I'm just bleeding my heart out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then like eight days later. Ha, 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 ha. Well, that's because literally so, ha, 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 I get into ha, ha, ha. a spot Are you alive? No. <laughs> and my phone will like, I'll, it'll just like blow up. Like if I get into like a zone. I'm kidding. Where there's, no, but it's like, I was seriously. All was these so, messages you had. Yeah. That you was, but I was oh, like, I, she, go, she goes, you need to call and sue. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> relax. Brit, I'm upset. Brit, she's, well, she's like, you know, the Italian side of Jackie's coming out and she's like, who do we got to talk to? And, you know, and she's well, getting maybe, the the shovel and the shotgun and I'm like all right <laughs> settle down you know it was just to enter the win I wasn't going to win mother. yeah I know <laughs> that's, that's what, exactly it what it is well that's if the town of mother. Ladle Michigan had <laughs> infrastructure for cell towers seriously maybe, wow. that's ridiculous. <laughs> here's the thing with you Rocky if I would have just said you weren't supposed to win it blah 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 you would have just killed me through the phone yeah. so I was just like okay so you're, you're to right her. this is yeah, yeah I was over and it. then you were like, but, we but in your mind, you were like, you were John Paul says, he, he <laughs> said, we got, why are you on the phone <laughs> right. so much? He goes, well, we got the, the wall is special. And I was like, what is that? And he goes, <laughs> it's, wall is he goes, it's half the price <laughs> or he goes, he goes, it's half the price, half the service and twice the bitching. So <laughs> it's like, you I know, like John that. Paul's the, the only one that special. doesn't complain about no, the No, because phone. John Paul doesn't care because he knows how cheap it is. Yeah. So, so as chill. long as he can save the money, yeah. he does not care. He yeah. will not. So yeah. my sister and I were thinking about switching and getting a different service and he I'm like John Paul why don't you get on our plant no nope. he's like do you know, how, do you know? I'm not do paying for that thing. he's like I do my thing I know he does he doesn't give a shit do his thing. he doesn't do a thing we pay for it I, well no that's the thing <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, John Paul I'm right, right, putting you on right, blast yeah. dude yeah. she's yeah. putting blast you on blast, blast right now Thanks, I'm Jackie. so yeah. sorry oh, those walls sorry. Are it's okay Anyway, yeah. So all I the was, okay. I'm from salty their phone about now. it. So we do know how to handle solicitors now. Thank yes. you. Yes, we do. I'm going to come great. up with another narrative. Yeah. yeah. For future shows. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. We see what start. else I can do. I should answer it. Like, well, actually, no, I'm afraid. Oh, I can't have that kind of information out about me, how much money I owe people. So Shh. just kind of pray. answer the phone next time they call me and do we it. We already know it's in the Our thousands. Our father. Yeah. Mary. <laughs> yeah. Glory to be. Pick a prayer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pick one. Yeah. All right. And now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> I pray the Lord. My <laughs> that prayer word? My debts will keep. <laughs> 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 oh, hey. Hey, oh. Good comeback. That was a good one. Yeah. All right. So the format of the show has changed. Yes. Yeah. For We've today. gone a spiritual route. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have Father, Amen. Father, oh, we're Father all I have here. <laughs> what right. did you bring we're, me we're into, Rocky? We're ready, <laughs> <laughs> ready to be side-eyeing me and hitting me under the table. I was like, all right. I was wondering why there was a tub Ooh. over there. I'm going to yeah. be baptized <laughs> <laughs> again. No, we're just going to drown you. It's fine. <laughs> That's okay. It's wine. You'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. So uh -huh. we have two weeks left in October, and so this has been a power-packed month. Yeah. A lot of celebrities this month. Mm-hmm. The mayor of Flint next week. Yeah. Ooh, that'll be yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Nice. In her we're office. We're going to yeah. be better in dig her in deep. office. Yeah. You better dig in deep. We, we've got this, we're, yeah, Alejandro. We got well, we were <laughs> sent a list of questions we could ask. So. No. No. Oh, <laughs> that's not that, that, that true. She's <laughs> an open I'm book. Just and yeah. then on the so 30th. Who's your favorite artist? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the 30th. I, and I typed in the answers for her. So, you know. Rocky <laughs> Wallace. Yeah. The By the way, Rocky, congratulations oh, on your song, thanks. Center of Gravity. And oh, I appreciate that. And Frankie. I made you a Jason thing. Jason You made me a thing? I made you he a made, thing. Oh, a thing. Oh, what do we have? It's a thing. A thing. I oh. gave you a manila envelope. Oh. oh. <laughs> a nice beautiful. plain one. Oh. Wait. I colored a card for her. I colored that last night. I love it. Is that me? That is you. See? Wow. That's hey, it's not Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's right. He so colored nice. it last no, night. Those boobs are nicer than mine. That's not completely accurate. And my ass is bigger it's than It's a hers, caricature of you. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So they accentuated my good that Give it back to me. He colored it last night. I'll find another Rocky. Okay. So that that is very nice. Oh, my God. That's lovely. Wow. 
Wait, okay. oh, how, much, how much how much time did that <laughs> take right. of your thought? I, um, I don't know. I think it's but, somewhere over there. And then on the 30th. <laughs> yeah, rock, nope, this way. Way. Rocky. <laughs> Straight ahead. Oh, there it is. On the wait. 30th is your boss calling in. The Godfather. Yeah. The Godfather. The Godfather. Yeah. Tommy like, Valentino like from New actual? York. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think yeah. but, no, like Godfather. the real Godfather is calling him from New York oh, on yeah. the 30th. He's so yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to be in New York. I am. So I mean, you're not even What's gonna, up, New Yorker? Well, we must be nice. We're, we're, this is not about her today. We're going to talk yeah. about you, yeah. Alejandro. We're talk about I you. always like talking about Rocky. Though. Well, mm. We talked about her last you. week, so, yeah. so, okay. so we're done with that. No, I'm not sick. But you talk nice stuff. I want to talk some smack. Yeah. I, I don't want, know what I don't know what I want to tell the world you about her smack? real deal. Oh, wow. we we know. People of Earth, I'm gonna tell you one more thing about Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Homegirl got some real raunchy feet. <laughs> <laughs> she told me before we went on air. She's like, my feet. All right, my feet so is are hit. Getting <laughs> my feet. Show she said, Let she me said tell you something. Too. She's like, my feet is hit. Let me tell you something. So they wanted me to be barefoot in my music video, and I was like, you don't understand. I was like, I did shave my feet and I did get a pedicure, but they're like. It's like really if you take, them all if you take sausage links and you put okay, them in a row that's enough. and then oh you cut them on an angle, <laughs> those are my toes, and they got little pubes on them. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> look what you, look, look. See? Okay, we're, that's we're gonna wrap this up now, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so you want to go get breakfast after? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really in the mood for sausage. Like, I don't know. No, we're so having weird. a meeting after Rocky. Oh, yeah, right. oh, You're not going he's anywhere. This is the second time we've tried to get out of this meeting. All right, so anyway, let's go. Let's okay. get moving. Let's, let's get ready. Let's, let's get, get ready. ready. Get ready. Because here get Jackie ready. comes. Mm-hmm. Get ready. Wait. Oh, it is that. Oh, yes. Wait, I told wait, the wait, picture. Wait, what is All right, guys, you are listening to The Nooner Show. We appreciate your support, and we hope you get inspired to take a leap of faith. Don't forget to subscribe to The Nooner Show wherever you listen to podcasts, and you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at The Nooner Show. And our show today is sponsored by The Parlor in Hadley, Michigan, a pizza-themed, a music-themed pizzeria where pizza rocks. And from the makers of Dope Water, if you can be anything, why not be dope? This segment is designed to showcase the stories of talented individuals who had a wish and found a way to make it happen. They set goals, overcame obstacles, and turned setbacks into comebacks. Their stories are unique, interesting, and most of all, inspiring. There are some people who are naturally compelling and just seem to have it. The person everyone loves to be around (laughs) and seems to have happiness flow. Our guest today (laughs) is a musician who turned his craft into music marketing. Alejandro Lemus, did I say it right? Alejandro Alberto Lemos. All right. Junior. Well, that, was, that, was, that was close. And right? in English, English, that would yeah. be. <laughs> Half uh, of those are confirmation names. Yeah. <laughs> How many times do they have to confirm you? That's a whole other. <laughs> well, me and Catholicism had an in and out, in and out on again, off again relationship. Repeat after me. Our Father. <laughs> Okay, right. hey, you guys go are ahead. not going to interrupt my enough. intro. Go go I have right. many nice Sorry. things Gosh. to say about him. All right, go. Okay? Mm-hmm. Shh. You be quiet. You're so over sweet. there. You're so sweet. sweet. All right, this guy over here, this guy over here <laughs> <laughs> has a natural ability to create shows that result in sellouts and valued that currency and many musicians struggle with. His charismatic personality, along with his hustle, has taken him from musician to marketing master. His skills have earned him a position as the marketing manager for popular music venue, The Crowfoot, in Pontiac, Michigan. He joins us this week to talk about their big annual show called The Creepy GP, a Halloween event featuring local musicians, including Alejandro, who will be performing tributes to iconic bands. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Yay. Thank you for having me. Thank you for those words. Now he's not going to say another yeah. word. I'm done. 90%, 90% embellished. <laughs> no. <laughs> Massive. Hashtag facts. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and now I'm done talking. <laughs> so, are, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're going to take a moment of silence. www.creepycheapy.com. We're going to take a moment of silence that will last approximately 32 minutes. <laughs> Bow your heads and I will pray. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. All right, it. Alejandro, yeah. seriously. Now, okay, oh now you guys God. know. I, what did I say to you? He's yeah. a comedian. My stomach is hurting right now because you had me you laughing so are much. So you need funny. to be a comedian, that's for sure. Yeah. Thank Add you. that You're to your resume. I don't, know if, I want, I don't yeah. know if I've ever had that bug. 
No. Um, did you ever? I like making people laugh. But I was going to say, I don't did... seek out to make people laugh. Mm-hmm. I just, it's I'm just, just yeah, but that's yeah, even I'm just a better goof. though, right? Because. You are so. I mean, it's like oh my, we were when we were at Arts Beats and Eats. Oh gosh, we were all crying, laughing. Oh yeah. Okay, wait. <laughs> let's start with that story. I hope you're laughing with me. I realized me. that in our post, we didn't add that he took right. over a restaurant at Arts. Oh yes, yeah. he did. He, and oh, changed yeah. the name. Just so you know, world, I'm the new owner of Fogo de Chao. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about what happened. Tell, tell me. Okay, so we go and we're. I just played. We're all starving, so we're going to look for food, and then we go. I don't remember. What's the restaurant called? Fogo de Chao. Okay, we go there, whatever that is. And um, Fogo de Chao. He was like, Great you got to try their there. food. They're, it's amazing. So, so we good. go, and then you had to spin the wheel to win. Like, every, every, it's, there's Various a prize prizes. on everything. Yep. Yeah, so mm-hmm. spun the wheel. and it's like he, a pie chart. Yeah, but now there's a long line. Yeah, there's it's a long late, line. It's a bunch of drunk people. So there's a lot of people. Dude, yes. it's like, mm-hmm. it's packed. So packed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's like packed. crazy packed. So he wins, I don't know, something. And he I won a twenty uh, twenty five dollar <laughs> little gift card. Yeah. yeah. For Fogo de Chao. Okay. But he starts yelling, he's like, I won, I'm the new owner of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> We're changing you to Alejandro's And I was like peeing my pants laughing. Like it was and, like, and, the, and then the people of, behind the counter the uh, food uh, workers. They gave him another they get oh, discount. Wow. For, they gave him another so twenty five dollars off because that was the best prize you could win. And yeah, and here's the other thing. People were walking by thinking this guy won the lotto. <laughs> yeah. I mean I, I felt like I still have to spend those. I have fifty dollars. Hey, we gotta go because wow. I got one too. Oh, got 75 you have we have seventy five. You have seventy you yes, we have seventy five dollars. Are we gonna do it? Oh I mean, We're it's Facebook official right, table too. right now. Yeah, I won $25. We're We're ladies, over here. excuse so me, hold that. on. We're you talking business 50. right <laughs> now. <laughs> this so is Facebook official. That, yeah. wow. We're going to combine yeah. forces for a Fogo de Child oh gift certificate. $75. Yes. That's and like when you get there, they're going to yeah. they're gonna say you can only so use one. So I'm not going to eat for 24 hours Very prior to this. It does not have fine print on it, so I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight it. Well, he owns the restaurant now. As the new owner of Hondo de Chao. I can use however damn many <laughs> gift cards I damn well this want. This is true. This okay. is true. All right. All right. We got to get on yeah, track. Let's, yeah. Come on. Seriously. Yeah, oh, you my God. Are, you are we, very charismatic and really magnetic are. personality. Yeah. Oh, and you. actually, yeah. I do have to say, the first time I met him, um, we met at a networking thing. Yeah, for South by Southwest. Yeah. Okay. And we, at the Foundation Hotel last the year. The first thing he said to me was, so first of all, I went by myself, which normally I come with backup. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just so I don't have to talk so wow, much. Wow. I didn't know you were by yourself. Yeah, I was there by myself. Oh my God, so brave. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't mean that facetiously. I, I'm no. Yeah. So I, I, I have always, social anxieties myself. Yeah. So the yeah. first thing he said like. to me is like, "I'm sorry if I'm being really awkward right now. I just have social anxiety." I was like, "You are the last person <laughs> that needs to feel awkward about me around that because I am like, like my palms were sweaty and I was pitting out. I was wearing this big ass coat because my <laughs> all pits were like yeah. so York bad." York introduced us. Yeah. He okay. wanted me to like so, so, specific, specifically specifically <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> league. He wanted yeah. me to spaghetti league meet you. <laughs> yeah, and so. He Shout out like, to you. I'm just socially awkward, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm with my people." Yeah. <laughs> and right then away. we went off in a corner and talked music for the rest of the time. So and it were you there by yourself too? I was there with a colleague, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Nate Duro. Okay, so Shout what were you doing Nate. there? Yeah, um, we were there representing the Crowfoot Presents okay. slash Fusion Shows, um, the company that I, who, for whom I work, and um, we were, we were going to South by Southwest. We had some things to do there. Okay, and um, so this was a networking event for other. People that are going to go to South by Southwest music festival and okay. conference mm-hmm. in Austin every year, every yeah. March. And so it was a networking thing. And at the time, Nate Duro, who was um, uh, our talent buyer for the company, he had more networking to do. Um, at that time, I was more of a content creator, marketer. Now I'm the marketing director. But at that time, I didn't have my hands dipped in everything that, like I do now. So I didn't feel like I needed to be there, but I'm, I was just kind of trying to experience it. Mm-hmm. So tell I'm us, glad I went. Tell us about the marketing director position. Is it? Do you work for the Crowfoot? Yes, the or Crow, the is Fusion? Isn't that a separate company? It was. It is. Um, it, the Crowfoot presents the Crowfoot. Let me explain that first. Okay. Uh, the Crowfoot was started in 2007. Um, we as a music promotion company, um, but we also own the building, the Crowfoot Ballroom in downtown Pontiac. Oh. So we promote and produce shows in that building that we own outright. Okay. But we also promote shows um, at venues across Metro Detroit and now across the state. Oh, so it's a separate promotional company. Yes. I didn't realize Um, that. So. um, What other venues do you work with? 
Um, we've put shows in the Masonic. We put shows in the Majestic and Magic Stick. Oh, cool. Um, even smaller venues like the Loving Touch, uh -huh. PJ's Lager House, and um, across the state um, at the Loft in Lansing, Max Bar in Lansing. Oh. Um, the Pyramid Scheme in Grand Rapids, um, the Fountain Street Church, um, also in Grand Rapids, and um, Kalamazoo State Theater. Um, actually, we just uh, we have a pretty hot uh, ticket item at the Kalamazoo State Theater uh, with Napoleon Dynamite, the cast from that. Mm. But oh, we also wow. have really? well, yeah. since we since we Plug promote shows across the state, <laughs> we can we can help the tour book across the state. So we okay. also have the Napoleon Dynamite screening with the Q and A with the cast at the Redford Theater, which sold oh, out in like fun. a wow. week. That wow. sold out quickly, and. Um, now, did you come up with that? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, it's very much a, a lot of most of what I do is a very much a team effort. Um, I can't take credit for anything really. Um, we have uh, our buyers. Buyers are people that book. I guess you can call them bookers, but their official title is buyer, talent buyer. Um, we have a couple of them. So how? So they scout the bands or the acts or whatever yeah it, they can do that or sometimes um tours come to venues across mm -hmm, the state mm -hmm. and they'll be like oh hey block off these dates for us we're plotting our itinerary across the country with a tour seven months from now and then time you know once they get all the data of their possible um itinerary then they say okay let's lock down this date if it's available um it's a lot of back and forth yeah for a minute. Mm -hmm. i don't um, I'm not involved in that directly in that part of the process, although I'm copied on all the conversations. Um, once we confirm a show, that's when I come in. We confirm a show, and in that confirmation, there's like, okay, the announce date is this date, and the on sale date is this date. So when we get a confirmation, I have to come up with a marketing plan. Yeah. Okay, um, at the announce, uh, um, we're going to do this across social media. This will be paid advertising. This will be organic advertising. This will be street marketing. Mm. Um, if it's a bigger show, sometimes we'll have radio buys. Um, not every show we're at, we're, not every show warrants that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a show in the Pike Room, which is a 250 cap room, right? And f realistically, the band that's playing the room probably will, would only draw a hundred people. Mm -hmm. We're building the act. That's that's normal, because um, you've got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, we're obviously not going to spend seven hundred dollars, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on radio, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. And this band has a door deal. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'll start working on a marketing plan, for, and then for the announce, that's when we go hard, uh, or at the on sale, that's when we go hard because that's we want to generate ticket sales for the shows, and then. Um, I have to just keep on it throughout the whole process. Mm -hmm. um, for show from the um, on, on sale to the day of show, it could be a month, it could be six months, it could be a year. Wow. So I have to monitor the whole process and mm -hmm. make sure we're hitting the key beats mm -hmm. throughout the time and what? we're not exhausting the money right away. You don't want to blow your wad, you know. Well, <laughs> how, do you, how do you know um, who to target if the bands uh, are That's local? there's the rub that's mm. that's where the um that's something you can't teach mm. um you have to have an affinity for all kinds of things in this business <gasps> and i'm and glad he the, said that. that's the big yeah. word this yeah. year right. infinity but yeah. i'm glad yeah. you said that because i want to know how did you get here okay you told us you mm -hmm. know what you're doing mm -hmm. in your position and stuff but how did you get to this point? i i've been in the music industry in some capacity since i was 20 um how did you start what mm -hmm. My be my oldest best friend Justin Perjusny, shout out <laughs> JP, who also works at the Crowfoot. Um, he was a senior talent buyer, and now he's the general manager. Oh wow! We've been besties since 1994. Aww. We're cool. freshmen in high school. That's how old I am. <laughs> 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 and uh, we were in our first bands together: Cotton Stick, yeah. Amatol, <laughs> <laughs> Virtual Soul, <laughs> and just 90s grunge stuff. We we. We didn't have an identity. Like one week we wanted to be Nirvana, the next week we wanted to be Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right. Yeah. Well, I think one time we tried to be uh, BB Mac, <laughs> just like boy band stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. this is hot right now. Let's do that yeah. music. Right, right. <laughs> anyway, um, 
he and I have always been involved in music in some capacity since our teenage years. Um, speaking of calling in the radio shows, his mom used to always, she's a work at home mother. And in our high school years, she would call 89X or the riff yes. every contest. And <laughs> it got to the point where yes. because she was at home, the only one be able to call all the time to win tickets to shows uh-huh. from fighters. No doubt. We went to all these wow. shows. Are you serious? Day. Yeah. Wow. When they were at the club level, JP and I went to these, all these shows at the clutch cargo, St. Andrews hall. And he kept wow. one summer, he kept winning that they told him you can't win these tickets anymore. Really? They flat out, yeah, the radio stations pre- <laughs> uh, oh uh, prevented him from winning like, anymore. Oh my God. Right? Let other people enjoy. <laughs> and um, so uh, when we were 20, um, we started flying. You know, the, the kids that stand outside after shows and concerts and handing you flyers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people are annoyed by it, but it's a critical part of marketing, street marketing. Um, we, were, we did that for Clear Channel. Um, who are now known as Live Nation. Oh, wow. and, oh Yeah, really? so we were we were a street team, we were interns, and we would fly around, and JP and I were among the best, if not the best street teamers, because we were we knew all the acts, um, and we would like start like humming songs or talking about their latest single in the line really loudly, wow. so we got people's attention. So, and, how, But how did you get with Clear Channel? Mm-hmm. How did that happen? Um, I think we just answered an ad. Oh, okay. Just emailed them. Okay. Yeah. And so they look at for the street f- teamers. I'm like, hey, I yeah. like music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, in exchange for standing outside in the cold oh, or the yeah. heat for <laughs> pass out flyers, right. they give you, they get you in the show. Okay. Oh, okay. And okay. we still do that. Street team, street teaming is a critical part of our marketing, oh, wow. and that's how that's how you pay off street teamers. Like, okay, hey, so if, shows. if they're standing in line, what flyers are you giving them? Flyers to what? Whatever show they're at, we want to promote like-minded genre. Okay. Mm. You oh. know, if you're at oh, if, gotcha. if you're at Tupac, we're not going to promote uh, Barbara no Streisand. doubt. Yeah. Barbara yeah. Streisand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love all music. So yeah. if I'm at a, if I'm at a Pac yeah. show and yeah. I see a, right. I see Babs, I'm like, yo, yo, yeah. I'm going. Won't be yeah. at a Pac show. <laughs> I'm gonna be there. Yeah. So when you started doing fire. this, when you started handing out these flyers, mm-hmm. and and what what ultimately did you think that you this would lead to? Right. Mm-hmm. Good question. Oh well, now yeah, you're talking when I'm 20. I had such lofty dreams. <laughs> like, what were your dreams? Oh, I'm gonna be a rock star. Yeah. We were okay. in bands. Yeah. We were in rock yeah. bands. So were you hopeful so then that this would lead to? It did in a, in, a, in a sense, not for me necessarily, but for JP. Um, he started street teaming so that he could get be- um, know the people that worked for Clear Channel mm-hmm. to get better gigs, which he did. Smart. Mm-hmm. And then he learned how to book his own shows. Mm-hmm. And then I just wrote his pig ta- uh, his pigtails, his, his coattails. <laughs> his pigtails. <laughs> I wrote his pigtails. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I, wrote his, I wrote his coattails <laughs> yeah, for a couple yeah, of years, just yeah. like just kind of just doing something in tandem with him. And he would just book me, opening up all these emo acts in the early aughts, in the early 2000s. <laughs> and it was just, I was trying to be dashboard confessional, just me and the guitar singing about heartbreak. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I would play at the shelter in St. Andrews. Really? And, um, a venue like Coach Cargo's Seventh House. But just, you know, opening up shows mm-hmm. and stuff like that. No big nothing nothing big. And um then I just I got out of I didn't I lost my drive to do original music. It's it's mm-hmm. so hard to write good music mm-hmm. that other people would agree is also good. <laughs> yeah. And um when did you come to that realization? Because yeah. I That's probably a tough my thing. probably my late twenties. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I still play guitar at home, mm-hmm. but I just learn songs that I love. Mm-hmm. I might write a song here or there. I don't get amused that often. Pretty maybe when I like end a relationship. That's when I get. Mm. <laughs> 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 it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Count me <laughs> place. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I heard this song. In the movie before. <laughs> Taylor Swift sang it. Right. <laughs> so um, you don't you don't wake up out of your sleep going, oh, I got this song in my head. I not anymore. Yeah. yeah. No. Nope. You wake did up, at one time though. I wake. I did at one time. Mm. Yeah. So what changed? Um. Reality. Mm. I mean, um, motherfucker, I got bills to pay. <laughs> 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 Ain't nothing going on but the rent. That's what I'm saying. I just, I, you know, I don't, I don't have the. Not to knock the people that do have the support system to do so. Mm-hmm. God bless them. I did not. Mm-hmm. I grew up with a single mom. We grew up in the hood, Mexican town. Still live there. We were poor. Mm-hmm. We yeah. would, I would get clothes at the secondhand market. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't have anyone to fall back on to support me. I had to make mm-hmm. sure to get my bills paid. I would couch hop if I needed to. I slept in a car for a minute. Um, as a matter of fact, my best friend JP kicked me out of his house twice in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> kicked me out of his house twice. <laughs> he got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, JP. <laughs> and um, so you know, I think that contributed a lot to. I think there. Po- I don't remember much anymore, but mm-hmm. there probably was a period of depression um i mean i still do battle depression and anxiety but you know i I have a therapist that helps me out with that Mm -hmm. um but i think before i went and checked i think that it contribute to just kind of secluding myself and there was a period where i became a recluse in my early 30s wow you mean, you're going deep now. (laughs) what's up barbara strike uh barbara (laughs) Barbara walters (laughs) (laughs) um I didn't think about it like that. That's yeah. what we do here. Maybe at the my show. maybe maybe my my definitive decision to give up my dream of being a music artist contributed to. Wow, well, I'm gonna cry now. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Contributed to the depression that. I, wow. <laughs> yeah. There was I, a uh, there was a dark time, and yeah. um, mm-hmm. I climbed out, and I think the crow foot, and <laughs> wow. We're glad you climbed up. They stuck with me. They allowed me to Mm -hmm. do my job from home, and I didn't feel like leaving home. Mm -hmm. And I love what I do, and I love life. Yeah, we we know. Yeah, but yeah. here's the thing too. I feel yeah. like this stuff is not talked about enough. Right. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean. Mm-hmm. And everyone yeah. thinks mental that health care is extremely it's important. So important. Right. A lot of people and ignore it. People pretend it doesn't exist, and they pretend that, and like like being so open about it, and being open about you going to therapy, and it's mm-hmm. like yeah. it's. It's a luxury. Right. I mean, going and <laughs> being able to go to the luxury. <laughs> <My brothers. laughs> I'm sorry. It, no, yeah. it really You're is, right. though. But it it's, is. It's not something, like, people don't take it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I say this all the time to my friends and to people around me. I'm like, your mental health needs to be worked on mm-hmm. like you work out at the gym. It truly right. does. Like you eat mm-hmm. healthy. Yeah, like you right. do the things mm-hmm. that you know. Yeah. We, everyone's yeah. been right. reaching mm-hmm. forever. It's not a joke. Especially and it's if nothing you're wrong in, with it. Especially There's if you're in the creative industry. It. Exactly. Because yeah. mm-hmm. you're ris- right. you're risking a lot by putting all your eggs in that basket. Mm-hmm. Right. You're risking right. so much, and if you don't have the support system, right. Exactly. You're gonna. Right. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to deal with the knocks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, and there's a lot of knocks. Yeah, there are a lot of knocks. It's mostly yeah. knocks. But yeah. but even besides the support system, because you can have the best support system in the world if you don't exercise the, the mental mus- the mental muscle. Yeah. And and really be aware of the stories you tell yourself mm-hmm. and rewire your brain from all the things you have been told or what you've yeah. been learned. It doesn't matter how great your support is. but mm-hmm. And that's really the hardest thing. I, I think right. that's the hardest thing. And I also think just because I also have struggled with depression mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. anxiety is not as bad of a a thing for me as I know it is for other people, but depression has been a huge struggle for me. But I think one, knowing that that was the problem identifying that I'm not crazy. These feelings are normal. Right. Yeah. Very normal. Yeah. Right. And it's not, you know, cause and was, nothing's wrong with and going to see a therapist. It, well, exactly. that's what, you know, and then people put a stigma on yeah. it all the people time. People put a yeah. stigma Especially on it. Especially in my yeah. community, in the Mexican oh, community, yeah. Mexican Catholic yeah. community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there like, there was a time my mom, God bless her. And, uh, she's, she's my rock. Mm-hmm. But when I started toying with the idea in my early thirties that I might be depressed, mm-hmm. I mean, she was like, you're not depressed. She didn't want to mm-hmm. believe it. Um, my, you know, there are people in my, my friends and family that kind of like, no, I don't buy, I don't buy into that. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, fine. You don't mm -hmm. buy into that. Don't you think? I I do. People Mm -hmm. say, oh, you're so happy. You're so funny. How could you be depressed? Right. Right. Yeah. I get a lot. You're never sad. Right. I am an extreme introverted, extremely introverted person Mm -hmm. and I need my me time to recharge Mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people follow my Instagram and my stories and they see me out and about and laughing with all my friends and people see me out. You'll see me here and being lively and extroverted. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's taxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And w- I need to go I'll need to go home <laughs> yeah. and yeah. I just need me. Right. Quiet, 
me in my PJs. Right. Some Golden Girls. Um, <laughs> Why are you pointing? Because <laughs> you're the Golden Girls. Because they're the Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah. 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 Aren't they dead? Because you're always, old. You're I always old, that's thought. Why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I you wanted me to thought, say? Okay, you wanted they me need, depressed. I'm yeah. depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm but I always thought they needed they needed a black golden girl in there. I so do too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, no, I you. think it's yeah. really I think it's very impactful that you're talking about this. Yeah, I too. Too. And mm-hmm. I think, I mean, we've talked about this. Yeah, so many, many times, times and how open it is. Mm-hmm. But I think right. Identifying for me for the longest time it was not being able to identify that depression was my effing problem. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I was like, I am crazy, like I'm bipolar or whatever it is, throwing around all these other words, but mm-hmm. it's like it's just depression. And yeah. you know, I I've seen many I mean, doctors. There could be about other it. things accompanying the depression. In yeah. my right. case mm-hmm. is generalized anxiety disorder, GAD. Yeah. And avoidant mm-hmm. personality disorder. So like Yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's just something that to be talked about in a normal way mm-hmm. and not to be. But the thing is, is that when you're aware of it, mm-hmm. you're right. That's it's, it. I think that is the first step. Right. Yeah. That's a, it's you know? a critical mm-hmm. step. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think then it helps fuel your your ability to to work work beyond it mm-hmm. to, yeah. to move forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It I doesn't hold you I back. Didn't, any I longer. didn't know what depression anxiety were when I was going through the worst of it. Mm-hmm. I was at home. I was a recluse and I gained like 200 pounds and. I just didn't do I didn't do anything except the work that needed to be done for the crow foot and I just watched TV and I just started researching here and there about depression anxiety then you know I started hey maybe Maybe I should talk to someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I took that first step. I don't know what made me take that I first step. I was going to ask the question. I, was I don't know. Ask you that. I just yeah. I went for a checkup. Mm-hmm. And they ask you the normal questions every time you go to a checkup. You know, do you need to talk to someone? Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. And you normally just brush it off. Mm-hmm. For some reason, this one time I go, maybe I'll give it a try. Mm-hmm. And they set up an appointment right there. And it was for like a week later. And my first appointment was with not my, the end, my current therapist. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, it was just like someone that like kind of assesses you. Like mm-hmm. You do need to talk to someone. And I just started bawling. Mm-hmm. She asked me a couple questions. It was like, Five minutes into it, mm. just mm. <laughs> childhood trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I had an, I had an unstable childhood. You know, I'm, I'm a product of divorce. Mm. And my mother and I moved around a lot, and the only consistency in my life for the first ten years, uh, for the first twelve years, really, um, was my mother and my cousins mm. during family functions. I, God bless my cousins. And um, I love them to no end. And um, so I didn't really have friends growing up because I was always moving around. I was always the new kid. Mm-hmm. I still get I still get that dread of the first day of school when you're the new kid. Because mm-hmm. every yeah. year I was those different schools. Mm-hmm. So. Do you think that's where some of the, the social anxiety is? Sure. Said, Absolutely. The new, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Did your mom ever I hate going to new places. I, Rocky knows now. Yeah. Um, he won't every come to t- Hadley, Michigan. He thinks it's fake. Right. Right. Well, yeah, it's, it's fake. Like She's fake making time. it up. Yeah. But when I'm meeting her somewhere and it's new, I'm, I'm like, you know, meet me. Meet me. Come get me. I'm lost. Mm-hmm. Because um, new surroundings yeah. terrify me. Yeah. And be, also, I don't like feeling like, because of anxiety, I feel like everyone's looking at me. And if mm-hmm. everyone's looking at me and I'm lost, I feel foolish and I feel judged. It's it's not a real, it's not reality. Right, mm-hmm. right. But that's but how that's I how feel. feel. That's, so yeah. I, I get perception. jitters. I get jitters, and my heart rate rises. But when you're on stage, when you're on and stage, and she helps alleviate that. When if I'm meeting her somewhere, or friends, other yeah. friends as well, you know, I need. Right. I always need a crutch. I yeah. always need a crutch. Huh. So do you feel like when you're on stage, you know, because we we we're going to talk about the show, mm-hmm. ladies and yeah. Um, when you're on stage, you, do, do you feel like that's yeah. your crutch, or do you feel like you're a totally different person? Oh, it's or? two things at the same time for yeah. me. It's different for everyone. For me, it's terrifying, mm-hmm. but it's also um, a means of escape. Hmm. Is uh, there is there a, a point where it's exhilarating? Yeah, it's it. yeah. I guess it's it's many things at once. Okay. It is exhilarating mm-hmm. if if. If I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing with Creepy Cheapy. This is our 12th year. Mm -hmm. And um, I've performed only the last couple years. And the first year, two years ago, I performed as George Michael. Wow. And that was a a huge leap in overcoming a social anxiety in me. Because I had just started crawling out of my 
depressive state. I, you know, was just like barely a year into wow. therapy. And, um, and I asked Chad and Dan who, um, are among the champions of creepy cheapy. Um, Hey, do you think it'd be cool if I put myself, you know, just shoot my, shove myself on, you know, shoe myself, shoehorn myself into that bill as George Michael. Fuck yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a question because I've never seen the show. Do mm-hmm. you dress up or do you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So creepy cheapy. Let me tell. Let me give you the the skinny on that. Mm-hmm. So the name, the official name, is the Crowfoot Creepy Cheapy Halloween Treat, because in two thousand eight, the first year, um, we we wanted to do a really extravagant Halloween event. We wanted to program something cheap in the room and something unique and we um, invited um, uh, only a few of our favorite local bands there was only three the first year to masquerade as some music legends oh cool so we we had a a band perform and dress up and perform as t-rex the smiths and um and then that this that that people were responsive to that so we did it we blew it up the next year mm-hmm. and took over the entire venue complex the crowfoot is three venues in one. Oh, it oh, is wow. yes the crowfoot ballroom the crowfoot complex the crowfoot ballroom the main room is the the club room it's 1100 capacity the crowfoot ballroom upstairs the pike room is 250 capacity mm-hmm. put smaller shows in there and then we have the verner's room it's um, 7500 cap it's mm-hmm. more like a cafe type mm-hmm. setting and then we have the front cafe. We don't program music in there, mm-hmm. but I mean, we have events in there. Um, and uh, then we have a, in d- we have an outdoor patio, but it, you access it from the inside of the venue. It's so not. Do no you oversee the marketing for all? Yeah, all wow. of absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Um, and it's it, it's easy for Creepy Cheapy because it's just one event that you're marketing. Mm-hmm. Um, you buy a ticket to creepy cheapy you have access to the entire building okay and for creepy cheapy we have three stages and two dance parties going at the same time wow. how do we get wow. tickets for this mm-hmm. yeah. you go to <laughs> www.creepycheapy.com that's c-r-e-e-p-y c-h-e-a-p-y we dot com and this oh, okay. is going on through the end of the month no it's no just no two it's days. two nights two nights. Oh, and okay. this year nice. is the first time we've expanded it to two nights okay uh it's been selling out every year wow um and we've been trying i've been trying to push um my colleagues Chad and Dan to do it two nights in a row because it just makes sense. Yeah, right, but yeah. the Crowfoot also we 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 also produce um, high end corporate events and weddings. Oh, around town, we, a, around town and in the Crowfoot itself. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know, weddings and corporate events book a, y- a year mm-hmm. or more yeah. in advance. Mm-hmm. So the last few years, we've we've decided we do want to explore two nights in a row. There's always been a wedding. Mm-hmm. booked oh, the next okay. night uh-huh. so I, I i do not envy the cleaning crew <laughs> 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 that has to flip the room overnight oh from creepy God. cheapy to mm-hmm. a wedding uh-huh. wow. and um so we finally i'm like last year creepy cheapy i'm like you better confirm that second night too bro <laughs> 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 don't lose it and so we did and we're like okay this is a, this is a big leap <laughs> oh, <laughs> it wow. would it would be terrible if Two nights we opened it up and like the second night was like fifty yeah, people. Yeah. But we're on our what way to selling out both nights. Sales? We're oh, on our way to awesome. selling out. Wow. So get your tickets yeah. now. So I have that, friends okay. and family like, yo, yo, go be tickets to the door. I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> get your yeah. tickets now. <laughs> I can't be putting my entire family. I have That's a I'm right. Mexican. I got like I got I got like three hundred of them motherfuckers. <laughs> I can't put you all on a guest list. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, October 25th. October, Friday, October 25th, and Friday and Saturday, October October 26th. And how much are tickets? Tickets are ten dollars in advance. Oh, that's nothing. And fifteen at the door if they're going to be any available. It's creepy, cheapy, Jackie. Mm -hmm. And they come dressed Mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so let me explain creepy, cheapy. So we invite our favorite local bands to either perform as the band that they they they're they're in, or sometimes Mm -hmm. we get. Uh, pretty often we get super groups. Okay. Like so and so from this awesome local band and so and so from this oh, local band get and together. they combine Fun. forces oh, wow. to form cool. to perform as mm-hmm. um, a band. And so Creepy Cheapy is local bands dressing up and masquerading as the entire night as iconic music wow. legends of the wow. past. So how many bands do you have? We have um acts? about a dozen a night. Okay. Wow. And That's um 
yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then we have the dance party in the, the patio and the cafe. Wow. We have video games like retro arcades, free candy. We have a candy eating contest called the candy the candy eating contest of doom. <laughs> Four O's, five M's, <laughs> seven uh, exclamation points. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> Are you performing? I, and yes, so um, two years ago I performed for the first time as George Michael and I overcame a huge um, social anxiety then. And the next Ooh. year I got friends to do Bon Jovi with me. Oh, yeah. That was John Bon Jovi. And I, right. we dressed up, we had the hair. Oh and actually gosh. I got a lot of my, my girlfriends. I was raised by a single mom. I'm a lot, I'm, I'm straight, but I have. I was raised by a single mom, so I'm like my girlfriends. <laughs> So I got I got a few of my girlfriends to dress up as like like skanky groupies, yeah. <laughs> and they were dressed up. They were dancing on stage, you know, living on a prayer, <laughs> boobs bouncing, butts hanging out. Oh my god! Yeah, it was awesome. And then this awesome. year, yep, this year my friends and I are tackling Queen. Wow. And we're doing both nights. Only a couple bands are doing oh, both, both nights. nights. We have different mm. bands each night. Okay. But that- there are a couple bands that are doing both nights. But we're switching up the sets. And who are you? I'm Freddie Mercury. And you're going to sing? Yeah, and I'm glad because George Michael is not my vocal range. John Bon Jovi definitely is not anyone's <laughs> vocal range. <laughs> Freddie Mercury is my vocal range. Wow, okay. really? So, How yeah. many songs? We're doing like seven songs night one, <gasps> oh, six wow. songs night oh two. God. But so this you know, is Queen, big. Queen live, like they speed up their songs, they right. shorten their but songs. Still, yeah. This is big. Yeah. This is yeah. a lot. Yeah. It is. Oh God, so I'm night so one, we're doing a lot of classic 70s stuff. And then night two, we're doing Live Aid set all the way through. Just like wow. in the movie, Fun. and I'm gonna have the Live Aid logo on the on the back projection <laughs> wow. screen. We're gonna pretend to be at Live Aid. Yeah. We're gonna dress up the way they did. Okay. I'm gonna have the mustache and slick back hair wow. and the Fun. studded uh, armband, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna get the crowd to do. Yeah. And so tell the tell the listeners again how can they get those tickets? www.creepycheapy.com. Which we do have the link on our Facebook page because yeah. we are um, unfortunately. Oh my God, running out of time. Hour. I know. Time, right? This short yeah. amount of time, you made me. Uh, uh, you made me assess my. Well, wait, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I, I do have to ask you though. Yeah. Does your mom understand depression now? Like, yes, has she? Does. Okay, Absolutely. That, I did yeah. want to know that part. You put my mom okay. on blast. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, we've had our own. Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, back and forth right. on that. Yeah, I think that's typical. It took a while till you know. I started. She's a similar situation. She's Italian. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Not talked about. No, we're the similar culture. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's why. That's why I was asking. Yeah. And um, well, you. Do you think this is why you're doing so well with your job? Because you can relate to creatives. There is a mm-hmm. connection yeah, there. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. I still feel like I'm living out partially a dream of mine. Yeah. I'm still in the music industry. Right. I'll mm-hmm. always be in the music industry in some capacity. Right. And um, so I'm just on uh, more behind the scenes yeah. mm-hmm. than on stage. But I also get to scratch that itch. Right. By a creepy cheapy, yeah. right, right. Yep. And who knows what it's going to be? Five and it's years a lot of work now. practicing right. these songs. I bet. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Maybe I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I made the right decision. Yeah, it's, yeah I was like, I don't got time for that. <laughs> well, you know, oh, the, there's. Are that. you available next Tuesday for practice? No, I got this thing. I'm like, Arr. <laughs> it's just so much yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're doing great, though. I am. I mean, yeah. so I am. you know. You, you figured it out. You're working on it, and I'm still figuring it out. I don't. Well, I, I'll you know, be I don't know that we ever figure it out. Right. It out. Right. So, and yeah. we never arrive. Mm-hmm. We never get there. Right. But it sounds like you're doing. You're doing well. I mean, you're doing I'm right, well with I'm your job. I'm riding the train and, of mm-hmm. life pretty yeah. well. You're doing. Yeah. You're doing the work. Yeah. 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 You're doing you're the work, doing. and mm-hmm. you're you're making and a I meet, difference. I meet awesome people doing what I do, such as. You beautiful ladies. Aww. We just yeah. went from Golden Girls I to know, now to ladies. Hey, the Golden, hey, the Golden Girls are beautiful. beautiful ladies. Yeah. Blanche, that's I my know. home girl. <laughs> <laughs> I would let her hit on me, <laughs> and she would too. Yeah, no, she yeah, would, she and, would. I, and I would, ex- yeah. I would reciprocate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You holler back. Is we right? thank you yeah. for sharing your story. Yes. Yes. Thank you for listening to awesome. my story for and us. for going deep. Yes. Oh my God, make me cry. No. Well, we're gonna have you back. Oh, yeah. I would be for part two. Part two. Yeah, okay. yeah because yeah. I did want to get into a little bit more of what does make a, a show sell out. Yeah. Because oh, that is very yeah, difficult. Yeah, I'd be happy to. And we yeah. don't have time, Give you some of the secrets. Yeah. I, I would, can't like, tell you all the secrets. I know. I'm sure. Yeah. But, We have know. our competitors listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Right down. What, what was that? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you can't give them all so, away. But do you still work with street teams? That's yeah, still yeah. a big part of Yeah. We have people on the marketing team that handle... 
making the promo and mm-hmm. handle um, distributing the the promo and um, putting together the street teams and you know there's a lot of there's a lot of moving gears mm-hmm. and um, I help manage those moving gears in tandem with my other colleagues. What yeah. is wow. the? It's a team effort. It's very much mm-hmm. a team effort. Well, it has to be. Yeah. What's the? How would you assess the uh, live music scene here in Detroit compared to you know other states? Uh, well, I mean, if if we're going to compare it to the likes of New York, Chicago, L.A., I mean, we're small potatoes, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, those are the. It all depends on. Um, the population that lives within the um, metropolitan area. Mm-hmm. Um, if Detroit, uh, you know, we're 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 a major city, but we're still a small city, and a lot of it is still uninhabited. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're Det- Metro Detroit is unique to market, um, uniquely difficult to market because you're also trying to reach out to the suburbs, and um, convincing people to drive out somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you live in New York, Chicago. I mean, the, the venue is two blocks away for a half million people that you can market to. Yeah. Mm. And I have to spread out my marketing radius to like hashtag Michigan where you guys live <laughs> <laughs> just to get you to convince you to come to Pontiac or yeah. to, to Ferndale or to Detroit proper. Right. And um, we have to make sure that we're booking the shows that you want to come to. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the music scene in Detroit, the local music scene is awesome. Mm. And we've got a lot of great artists that mm. are starting to, um, gain traction yeah. uh, nationally. Um, yourself among them. Mm-hmm. Rocky Wallace, what's up? <laughs> um, and uh, a lot of um, Detroit's on the up and up mm-hmm. it, uh, in, or in general, and tours are noticing that, so they want to come to Detroit more That's great. than they did five, even mm-hmm. you know, four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the music scene here is, is, is well it, there's room for growth, yeah. room for improvement, mm-hmm. of course, but we're in the right direction. Awesome. For sure. Yeah. And well, I'm glad to be a part of it. And mm-hmm. we're glad you're a part of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up on that note. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. We have a fortune cookie. I know you wanted to get into the uh, fortune cookies there, Alejandro. Oh, yeah. But there's fortune I, cookies. No, but we have a system here. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I For the listeners out there. Mm-hmm. When I k- walked into the office, I saw fortune cookies and I was touching one. <laughs> and Jackie, Jackie screamed. Jackie, yeah. no, no Jackie she do? she spewed demon spew on me, <laughs> <laughs> and like smoke and fire came from around her collar, <laughs> and like her eyes now turned you red. What I and she's every like, day. do not, do <laughs> not touch the, the fucking fortune cookies. <laughs> Like just like that, and um, I like started to our father. Who are in heaven. <laughs> I started praying. <laughs> I followed up with the hail mary. Yeah, yeah followed up with hail mary. I even oh, did. I, yep. I just ran out. That's yeah. what I did. I right. carry holy water in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with these fortune cookies? Right, I'm not allowed so to touch. I gotta speak into the microphone. Um, so we toss our cookies, and whatever way the prongs are Sounds facing, we like toss an our innuendo. Cookies. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. What did you um, get me into? <laughs> it doesn't um, sound like. Arr. It sounds like something that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant sexually, but scared. <laughs> like something I don't want scared. to do. Like super kink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a Yeah, you don't have anything for that. We yeah. toss our cookie. <laughs> whatever way the prongs are creepy facing. <laughs> that means that fortune no, the is creepy never sexual voices. We toss your cookies. That's how I like it. That's how I like it. All right. We gotta, we gotta toss the cookies. Okay, Come on, let's go. Let's go. And then I'm allowed to grab one? Yeah, well, not just what we'll, we'll tell you. That's, that, that's yours, right? Oh, there. Oh, because it's closest to me? No, because no, it was facing you. Because it was facing me. The prongs were facing you. That now, when am I allowed to open it? Now you can open it. Okay. Yes. Am I allowed to read the fortune? Yes, we want you to read the fortune. Am I allowed, are you allowed to know the fortune? Yes. Or no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With, what should we so, put it then? Uh, let's see. Creepy, cheepy, cheepy. Yeah. Yeah. Creepy, creepy, cheepy. Creepy, cheepy. Yeah. So we'll end it with that. Okay, go ahead, Rocky. Why don't okay. you go first? No, hold on. I'm not okay. even All right. my fortune. Go ahead, Nora. Traveling this year will bring your life into greater perspective with Creepy Cheepy. Okay. I'll have to end it with that. Yeah. Yes. You will soon receive an offer you cannot refuse oh. with Creepy oh. Cheepy. Or yeah. at Creepy Cheepy. Uh, Your future looks bright at Ooh. Creepy Cheepy. Ooh, I like that. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Mine says, you will enjoy good health. <laughs> crazy. I mean, if I you, you consider I mean, liquor and candy. Right. Pizza. I was going to say, good health. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm old, so I have to take off my glasses. Okay. okay. Oh, shh. Okay. <laughs> Rough times are behind you. Oh. That creepy oh. cheap. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You wow. see why you see we ending. had to have yeah. the yeah, face you. I'm going to yeah. do a radio faux pas right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you anyway, so much. Anyway, Alejandro. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Alejandro. Alejandro, yeah. thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So listen, we're going to close the show today with Queen. Okay. Uh, yes. Bohemian Rhapsody in yes. honor of Creepy Cheap. Cheapy. Yep. Creepy and cheapy. Alejandro, so that's October 25th, 26th. We have the link up on our Facebook page. And $10 uh, in advance, 15 right. at the door. Yep. yep. But it's selling out. You're not going to get yeah. Yeah. at the door. So good yeah. luck getting at the door. door. Yeah. Yeah. And get no one in your family luck. else can join the list. Right. Yeah. Nobody else I mean, in his family. No. I put like mm-hmm. the ones that I love more. <laughs> <laughs> and they yeah. know who they are. And they know who they are. Oh, okay. I yep. only kind of love you, so you yeah. get <laughs> And the ones that are on the list, I don't love you as much, but I still love you. <laughs> well, With only 98% that's all that, of my heart. That, that, that's all that's that matters. All, that <laughs> all right. Thanks Alejandro, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank thank you. you. So now, much. seriously, let's get you back on uh, next spring. Okay. We are booked, actually, almost for February. <laughs> yep. and, um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so we'll get you on in the spring, and let's talk about how to promote. Let's yeah. get yep. some Maybe of that Maybe we can start talking south by southwest you're yeah. gone again right as far yeah so far you i'm going to be my you can be sure. my guest yeah there we go okay hey. all right all yep. right and uh next week we're going to be in the mayor's office right yep yeah yes. mayor flint <laughs> yes mayor we're very you better excited. dig deep yep. mayor yeah Karen weaver yes yep. gonna be yep. with you better her. ask the hard questions yes. yes and then the week after is mr valentino calling yes. in Ooh. that's Ooh. another tough I'm so, I'm so glad I might be in New York for that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's going to be good. I'm excited. Smooth jazz. Anyway. And remember, sometimes the only mode of transportation available is the leap of faith. Thanks for taking Aww. the leap of faith and happy hump day. Happy All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to The Nooner Show. We appreciate your support and we hope you get inspired to take a leap of faith. Don't forget to subscribe to The Nooner Show wherever you listen to podcasts. You can follow us on Facebook um, and like us. Like us on Facebook. Follow <laughs> us on Instagram at The Nooner Show. And our show today is sponsored by The Parlor in Hadley, Michigan, a music-themed pizzeria where pizza rocks. And from the makers of Dope Water, if you can be anything, why not be dope? Why That's not? Right. Happy hump day. Happy, Happy hump, hump day. day. Happy hump day. And we'll see you on Friday the 25th. Creepy cheapy. Or Saturday the 26th. No. Friday we will 20. see you. On Creepy Friday. cheapy. Yeah. I you were oh, we're. Saturday. I know. I thought we it was can't. Too. It's a long, it's a long story. All right. Okay. <laughs> happy hump day. Bye. Happy <laughs> hump day. Bye. Bye. Bye.